So today is April 4th on Monday, um, and I should be going home today. Um, I have to see the doctors still. They haven't come in yet. Um, not a lot has changed since the last time that I filmed. Um, I will say, so I'm not entirely sure about like why it was like this or whatever, but um, when I was taught how to dilate yesterday, um, there's four different dilators and the purple one is the smallest, then the blue one is the next size up, then the green one and then the orange one. And when he started me, he's he, like, cause he was showing me how to do it. He started me on the blue one um, and it went in fairly okay. Um, and then when I went to dilate in the middle of the day by myself, um, I, I don't think I angled it right, um, but I thought that I like had it as far in as it could go. But then last night when I went to dilate, I must have like put it at a different angle and I got it in a lot further. Um, and I ended up leaving it in a lot longer last night. Like I think maybe for like 30 or 35 minutes instead of 20, just because I basically, I didn't have it in deep enough um, in the afternoon. But this morning, um, when I went to dilate, like, I could get it in at a certain, like, depth or whatever. But then it was, like, I tried to twist it and move it and stuff. And, like, it just wouldn't go in. And, like, I don't know. Like, I, I felt like I was putting a lot of pressure on it. And I didn't want to put too much on and, like, end up, like, damaging things in there or whatever. So I ended up taking out the blue one and using... The purple one which is the smallest size which I'm pretty sure is what most people start on like I don't know why they would have uh, a purple one if like you're supposed to start one size up anyways um and I'm gonna tell my doctors that this morning um because like obviously I want to make sure that I'm like doing it right but from what um I was told yesterday and from what I've seen online um, the dilators are all the same length. It's just the width that is different. And so like, like you're not going to lose depth if you switch to a smaller dilator. Um, you're just going to lose like the, like, um, like the width or whatever that you can have. Um, but you can always stretch that back up. You can always like stretch the width further and further but it's it's if you like stop dilating or you don't put it in far enough and you lose depth you, it's really hard to get that back um so and like honestly when I put the purple one in it went in like very quickly very smoothly so I think what I'm gonna do as long as like my doctors say this is okay is I'm gonna start like probably for the rest of the day just use the purple one but like starting tomorrow do like the purple one for like maybe like 15 minutes and then the blue one for like five minutes and then do that for a day or two and then do the purple one for like 10 minutes and the blue one for 10 minutes and do that for a day or two until eventually like I get up to just using the blue one because I think it like I felt like when I was pushing it in it didn't feel like I necessarily hit the end but it just like it, it felt like there was not room <laughs> for that um for the blue dilator so I think like that's, you know, obviously you want to take it slower and stuff. And I'm not like having any like irreversible damage by going to a smaller dilator. Because like I said, you can always stretch the width, um, even if you lose width. Uh, but you cannot really stretch the depth if you lose that. So, so that was my thing today. Um, yeah, I'm basically just waiting for the doctors to come in so I can tell them like whatever and then they can send me home um they are gonna put me on stool softeners just because I guess some people get like kind of constipated after surgery and like I like I have like gas or whatever but I haven't actually like passed any like you know whatever um but they said that's kind of common and like when I go home I'm gonna drink prune juice because that stuff does not really taste that good, but it works. I will tell you that if you are ever stopped up and like you don't know what to do, just drink a bottle of prune juice and make sure you stay at home the whole day because you're going to be <laughs> in and out of the bathroom. Um, but that works very well. Um, yeah, so I will 
video when I have an update, but that's where things are for right now, so. So today is April 4th. It's about 11.15. Trey is here giving me weird looks. Um, but anyways, the reason Trey is here is because I get to go home today. So but you can clap a little louder. There we go. Woo! Okay. Um, <laughs> so they're just waiting for my medicine to be like filled at the pharmacy here. And then they're going to bring it up to me. And then I'll get to go home. <clears throat> um, not a whole lot has changed. Um, I think I talked about... Um, I don't remember if I talked about this or not. But this morning I tried... Like, when I started dilating, they put me on the blue one. Which is one level up from the smallest. And I did okay yesterday. Um, but the, the first time that I dilated, it went fine. The second time, I didn't push it in enough and I didn't realize that. Last night I was able to push it in the whole way, um, but this morning I had a lot of trouble with it. So I switched to use the purple one, which is um, the smallest size that they have. Um, and that went in fine. And I asked my doctors or my surgeons, one of his people um, who I hadn't met before, but she was like, yeah, like just keep using the purple one until you have your follow-up with us and then we can talk about, you know, if we want you to move up or like what. So I'm just going to be using the purple one, which is a lot easier and a lot more comfortable and like, um, yeah, it's like, it's kind of tricky the way that you have to like put it in you because it's not just like putting it straight in. You have to like kind of angle it weird. Um, so it's a little bit like, it's like a skill that like <laughs> you have to learn. It's like a very strange skill to have, but... <laughs> I'm getting there, um, huh. but yeah, so I'm going home today, I'm excited, um, once I get home and I start doing things at home, I'll be making more, like, videos to talk about all that stuff, because it's gonna be kind of weird, like, living by myself, um, well, I mean, Troy's gonna be living with me for a few weeks, but it's gonna be weird, like, having this new body at my house, like, this isn't, like, a hospital thing anymore like this is like real life so it's gonna be like so like weird but like good <laughs> so um so that's everything for now and i'll fill you in when i get home and how everything is doing so so it is 12 29 on april 4th and as you can see i am no longer in the hospital um trey is driving me home um i did get a little it's called a donut pillow. Um, it's like, a, I guess people with like hemorrhoids or something use it. Um, but that's really going to help because when I, <laughs> when I got wheelchaired out from my room down to like the area where the cars were, the parking lot, why didn't I know that word? Um, <laughs> I did not have the donut pillow with me and like sitting, I had like a regular pillow, but even sitting on that, like it was too like hard and like it like hurt my um, so I would recommend having like a donut pillow and bringing it into the hospital with you or asking if maybe they have one or whatever. Um, but yeah, I'm on my way home. I'm really excited. Um, there's not really a whole lot to update other than this because I made a video a little bit ago today. I'm um, talking about everything, but I'm super excited. Like, ah, uh, it's like so weird. Like, like, I don't know that I'm, I'm going to be just like at home, like doing regular life with like my new body it's like I don't know it's kind of like I don't know I, I don't have the words so I think I'm going to stop saying I don't know a million times <laughs> I'm just going to go but I'll fill you in later with anything that matters <laughs> do you want to say hello and goodbye no <laughs> <laughs> you're still not going to say it no <laughs> I hate him <laughs> So it's 10.30 at night on April 4th. Um, I am officially home. Um, Trey is staying with me for a little while, um, but he's up in the guest bedroom. <clears throat> um, a few things that I noticed, uh, well, yeah, a few different things that I noticed. So first off, the bruising that I saw when they took the packing out, um, a lot of it has gone away. Like there's really not much bruising 
um, down there anymore, but it's still very swollen. Um, <laughs> very much so. I do think that a it's a little less numb. Like, every day I can tell, like, there's... Every day it's been literally, what, two days now. But <laughs> I don't know. I feel like um, I can, like, f like feel more... Like, if I'm, like, poking it or something like that, like, I can feel more um, down there than I could yesterday. Um, or even, like, this morning. But it's definitely not anywhere close to, like, not numb. Um, <laughs> it's still definitely numb. But, um, but yeah. Also, t uh, something that I didn't mention, didn't even think to mention it. Um, when I got surgery, um, I don't know if they, like, flipped me on my side or what. But my left side has this huge bruise. It's, like like purple and black like it looks so bad and it's like on my left like hip and it's like maybe like that long and then I also have some on my left side up here and then I also have one on my right hip but not on the right side but they don't hurt at all like I didn't even notice that I had them until I ended up seeing them and then like because I I don't know it just like does, and it's not numb like I can like when I touch there I can feel that I'm touching there but like I don't know what the fuck, like, how that happened, but, um, I felt like I should point that out, but I'm not really concerned with it, because I know, like, I'm sure they had to, like, flop me around a bunch during surgery or whatever, and, like, the fact that it doesn't even hurt is, like, good, a good sign, but it looks like, it's like when you have a banana, but you just leave it out for, like, two weeks, and it's, like, so gross, like, that's how my bruises look on the sides of my body, um, <laughs> <sighs> So I did also notice that as of today, um, whenever I had to pee, it came easier um, and like quicker. Um, I did have like, so when I dilated this afternoon, I think it was like around three o'clock or so, I like, I don't know if I put it in at a weird angle or what, like I'm still kind of getting the hang of it. Um, but like, it's not like comfortable, so it's hard to know exactly like, am I doing this right? Or like, is it supposed to be uncomfortable or like what? So anyways, I convinced myself that I must have like, like done, like bumped something like inside me that did not want to be bumped and whatever. And like, I was like freaking out. And then like, I tried to go use the bathroom and like, I just didn't have enough water, but I was like, oh my god, like, I can't pee, and I was, like, literally having a fucking breakdown, and then, like, I was able to pee, and then I was, like, freaking out about dilating tonight, because I thought it would, like, hurt, but it really didn't, it felt just like it did, um, earlier. Um, I will say there's this one part of my area that has, like, rubbed against each other, like, almost like, like a like a brush burn like if you like like rub yourself to like oh like if you if you slide on your knees on like a gymnasium floor and it makes that squeaky sound it's kind of like that I guess um but it's not that bad but I did notice it um and so I put like a tiny bit like they gave me this cream to put in like I put it on the end of my dilator the last dilation of the day and then that way it's like an antibiotic cream or something but I put a little bit of that on the like sore part um to see if that would help um but yeah honestly I mean the way that it's healing is pretty remarkable the fact that there's barely any bruising anymore like um my like scars that are along the side like if I would have tried to touch them the other day like they would have stung but like I can like touch like I shouldn't and I'm not like actively doing that but like I don't know I can touch things down there and like I'm it just seems a lot more, like, sturdy, like, I'm not, like, it's not, like, about to fall apart, I guess, or something, um, so, yeah, so, that's pretty cool, um, I think that's everything, I definitely, I would recommend, so, I feel okay walking around, um, but I think part of the reason, too, why I had that, I had trouble with my dilation in the afternoon was like I came home and I probably was walking around a little bit too much because like I don't know I was just excited to be home and like I was trying to get everything situated and whatever and like um I don't know but I think I moved around too much and I think that kind of also made my afternoon dilation a little like wonky although I don't know if it was actually wonky or if I was just panicking you know um but everything seems good I'm not like 
bleeding. I'm not like, I don't know, like there's nothing concerning that's going on. I just, in the moment, I'm like, what if this means blah, 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 and like, whatever, but everything's working out fine. Um, I'm going to go to bed here in a minute, but I just wanted to kind of touch base, I guess, before tomorrow came, so um, yeah, so that's everything. Good morning. So it's about nine o'clock on April 5th on Tuesday. Um, I got home yesterday. <clears throat> um, I did film last night, so there's not a whole lot new, but I did want to, I guess, just say a few things. Um, first of all, um, I've noticed like, like looking at like the picture that I have when I got my packing out and everything versus what is on my body now like I'm surprised at how quickly it started looking better and feeling better um it's still very numb which is to be expected I think that'll be like a while but even like this morning I, I was looking at it and it doesn't look as swollen um so that's good um it is it's weird being at home like like it's I didn't think it would be this much of an adjustment but like I don't know like in the hospital the, I guess it was like less scary in the hospital because I had nurses and doctors and like whatever if something went wrong if something didn't make sense they're like right there whereas like at home like you know my mind can just kind of run wild sometimes so that's been a little bit of like difficult a difficult situation I guess but like overall I'm doing well um I have they gave me three ice packs to take home from the hospital which is very nice and they're like gel so it like you can like bend them instead of them just being like a hard block which is also nice because they're that's like more comfortable to have against my body instead of having just like a brick just like against me um <laughs> So those have been really helpful, um, and they stay cold for a while. <coughs> um, I'm trying to think what else. Um, dilation has been going okay. It's not fun. I think I'm already bored of it, <laughs> which I was really hoping it would take longer. But it's also not that bad. Like, it's kind of, like, especially since I don't have anything else in life going on, like, I'm like, yeah, I can lay here and do this three times a day. Um, I don't really have trouble putting it in. Um, it, and it's more just like, it's just uncomfortable to have it in. And like, it's kind of hard to explain, but you have to put it in at like a weird angle. And so like, it can, it just feels really strange, I guess. Um, and like, I'd rather lay there with it not in, but like, obviously <laughs> I'd have to dilate, but it's just like uncomfortable, I guess, and I guess annoying, but, um, no, I think, yeah, I think I'm doing good. The pain isn't too bad. Um, I, so they sent me home with 30 oxy pills that were five milligrams each. And my guess is that like, once I run out of those, they wouldn't like give me more. Cause I think like, even if I just took one a day after a month, I don't think my pain would be as bad you know, as it is now or even just a few days ago or whatever. Um, but <clears throat> what I've been doing is instead of doing five milligrams, I've just been doing 2.5, like I break the pill in half, um, which that seems to do the trick. And I've been taking Tylenol as well. Um, but that's like enough for me to feel like comfortable. Like there's still a little bit of pain, but it's not like I, I don't really think about it. Um, and I want to make sure that... <laughs> you know, I have enough to last as long as I need. Um, so there's that. They also gave me some stool softener because I guess after a surgery, sometimes people can be kind of stopped up, um, probably just from not eating for a little bit and then going back to eating and like everything, like your brain is just like, what the fuck did you just do to me? Um, <laughs> but um, so I've been taking those. I'm also going to have um, Trey get me some prune juice because that is nature's laxative and it works so well. Um, honestly, it works better than any medication I've ever taken. Um, i trying to think. I don't know. I think things are simple. Um, but I do think like 
like sitting here I'm like oh like this is gonna be long like sitting here doing nothing for however many weeks except for dilating like I'm like like I don't know like that sounds really boring um so I you know I'm trying to make use of my time trying to just enjoy it I guess but it is kind of weird because I'm like the type of person like I do not do well staying in my house for more than a few days um like I'll be like oh I haven't done anything today let's just go drive somewhere and then like walk around Walmart and then I like won't get anything but I feel better because I like left the house so like <laughs> being stuck inside is not fun um but I'll power through I always do um oh also one thing I wanted to mention I so my apartment is on the second second and third floor actually um the guest bedroom is on the third floor and then the second floor is like my bedroom and all the other like normal things but anyways um walking up the steps when I got home yesterday actually was not too bad um I was able to do it like I thought I'd have to be really slow or possibly even like sit and like scoot my way up but like I was able to walk up fine um but I also think I'm pretty sure that before I left the hospital they had given me like I think it was 10 milligrams of oxy so like that could have been why and like I think like I said in my last video like I think I just kind of overdid it with like moving around and everything like that um I don't know I was just like excited to be home and I felt good but then it was like once the pain meds wore off, I was like, mm, I should not have been moving around. But I was thinking since I felt good that it would be okay. But I think I, you know, maybe jumped in a little too far and need to take, take a step back. So, um, so today is going to be a very relaxing day. And that's how I'm going to continue my healing process. Um, but, but yeah, so that's everything so far. Um, yeah, uh, I probably won't film any more today since there's nothing, like, really important. So this is probably the last video for this video. <laughs>